I've just come up to our main field and spotted that um, three of the sheep came to be fed. So where was the fourth? And the fourth one that was missing was Ethel. At her there, she was here in one of the sheds and she is now gone into labour. Uh, and there's a sack hanging from her rear end there. Uh, unfortunately, um, we haven't had a chance to give this shelter a quick clean out because uh, that's one of the things I was planning to do now, so uh, we're going to try and get this cleaned up as well and put some fresh bedding down for her. Right, we've given the shed a clean out. I've put a bit of hay down that was in a sack uh, in, in the shed already. Uh, we'll go and get some more in a moment, but uh, Ethel seems to be more interested in eating hay at the minute than um, having babies, so uh, she may be keeping us here for a while. Well, it's about 6.30 in the evening now. Uh, we went back home to milk Gertie and uh, take the baby kids, the baby goats home. And uh, then I arrived back here. And you might be able to hear something in the background. So here we have a couple of little boys. One of them is suckling already. Uh, she actually had three. Um, two boys and a girl. But unfortunately when I got here uh, the one who's suckling now had been born, um, and the little girl had been born, but she was dead. Uh, and having spoken to Jo, um, I think what's happened is that because it's so unusual to have uh, anything other than a single baby for a first birth, uh, then firstly that would explain why she was suffering signs of malnutrition a few weeks ago. Um, and secondly, it will explain why the uh, the baby, uh, the, the little girl died because she was the runt of the litter. But we've got two boys now, and this last one here, this uh, is on the right, this one, absolutely massive. But I actually had to deliver him because he was coming out the wrong way. He was coming out back end first. So um, I had to get my hand inside her. It's not particularly pleasant, this, but. Uh, she was, um, I had to get inside her uh, and take take him out, uh, which I managed to do. And he's alive and well, and mum is doing well as well. <laughs>